two, one, go. Okay, we're making a spawnacopita. And we've already put down some of the layers. What you have to do is you melt, and you have to get, you know what, I'll just put in a picture of the recipe after this. So what you do, you get your, you get your butter melted, you grab a very, very clean paintbrush that you will only use after this for uh, this purpose of making a spanakopita. Mm -hmm. It's called a uh, pastry brush. Yeah, you use it on pastries. And what you do is you melt some butter and then you get or you, put, you want to put your brush into your butter. There you go. And just leave it there. And just let it rest. Yeah, but first you want to lay down. First you want to melt your butter. Then you have to lay down layers upon layers of phyllo dough, which is like this. It's super thin, like thinner than paper even. I can see through it. And you cover your phyllo dough back up with your yeah. um, towel so that it doesn't dry out too yeah. bad. After you've melted your butter. Mm -hmm. there it is. And you want to try to get every single part of the phyllo dough with the butter. <laughs> it rips really easily, but if it does rip, don't worry about it. It's fine. That's it. Kind of makes a spawnacopita look cool, actually. But don't rip it on purpose. That's bad. Now. Once we're done with spanico the spanakopita, I'll show you guys a, I'll put in a picture, I'll edit in a picture after this, so you can see what the end result kind of looks like. Do you know what's in the filling, Kalos? Yep, what's it in is, here? don't worry about the mixture, it does taste really good. It's like my favorite Greek food. It is spinach, mm -hmm. onion, mm -hmm. cheese. Mm -hmm. I forgot to put on another layer of 